Brady. Just gonna do some setup here before we start. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing. I didn't know my keyboard sounded that loud. So I had that all. Hopefully that's not too big of an issue because I don't feel like messing with the sound settings again. That was this whole big issue. I'm just going to move it away from the mic and hope that works. I don't think I'll pick up anymore, so that should be good. Uh, Here it is. Kind of loud, hold on. <laughs> Does that sound on stream? That's good, that's good. saves left over from the last time I played. That was a long while ago. I don't know what I was doing in any of those. Um so I was looking through some YouTube videos on fear and hunger throughout the past few weeks and it looks like there's actually a lot of demand for and a what's the word or a like collected lore video and i figured i like the series i've studied a lot of lore for dark souls and the like you know why can't i do that so what i want to do is i'm gonna be playing through the first game and the second game and oh, i forgot to start recording recording now um yeah and i just want to compile just live footage of myself with all the items and the skills and the enemies and all that going through most of the interactions reading through the books and everything just so i have that for my own records uh, i plan to do a little write-up on the lore and eventually maybe in a video who knows but uh yeah i just saw the demand for it figured somebody's gonna cash in on such a thing might as well be myself has been a long while since i played this in the first game though so i'm gonna be doing it on regular mode uh.
I don't think I ever beat the game on hard mode. Can I full screen this? Can. I think this gets loud, watch out. So I've only ever beaten Fear and Hunger mode. Uh, I think I got like four of the endings. Uh, I tried Terror and Starvation mode and I just I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm not good at this game. Much less hard mode. Um, but I'm going to try and get live recordings of all four of the S endings and all the regular endings as well. Shouldn't be too hard to begin with. You are born with the soul of the endless that makes you yearn for freedom and forces you to push your creativity, creativity to its limits. You put your creativity to test in the most in the heart in the most harshest of environments. You are born in Sunabana, in the capital of the Eastern Sanctuaries, Pattaya. Uh, what was it? What was it? What was it? Hot picking. One of the interesting things between the first game and the second game is the introduction of all the new souls. Uh, I don't know how the general discourse went for the first game, but for the second game, it definitely became a lot more of a Zodiac type thing. I think there are... No, there aren't 12 different souls. I think every, every contestant has a unique soul. And Henrik definitely talks about it like it's a... A zodiac type of thing. This is probably the easiest setup to just get through the game, for ending E at least. In and out. Actually, I don't think you want to get in and out quickly to get ending E. I don't think Legard lets you leave dungeons if you have them in your party. I don't think the dogs follow us in, in normal mode. It said the thing. Certainly has been a while, I don't remember that at all. Another thing I used to see in the old gameplay trailers was that if you broke down a certain door, you'd uh you'd get into a battle with a beetle, I think they were called. I've never seen that happen in game. 
Am I allowed to show this on Twitch? It's a stinger. It's just a stinger. Just a stinger. The first game I think is a lot harder too. Just because every enemy tackles you. A lot of enemies get an extra action after you kill them. There's a map showing the distribution of army units on the table. I guess this isn't just like a prison. I suppose they kept war prisoners here as well. The warden is called Captain Rudimir, after all. I don't know, I just found it weird that they had battle plans laid out on the table of a prison. We got it. Oh. Yeah, that works though. That works. I heard you can actually get the girl to talk to you if you just keep repeating one dialogue option over and over. I'm not sure if that's true, but I want to find out because then that disproves the theory that the girl is the child you read about in Troder's Note. We're gonna go at this for a little bit. I just wanna make sure. I just wanna be a hundred percent. I remember when I first started this game and I had absolutely no idea what anything was or like how to battle effectively. I ran into this cage with a little girl and I made it like my goal to get her out. I was playing as the mercenary then too, but I think I didn't. I think I took steel instead of lockpicking. We're gonna give each option one more go.
Oh, that looks weird. I was so excited when I finally got her out. I think it's kind of obvious. Find a little girl in a game like this. There's something wrong with the little girl. It's a pretty obvious trope, and I don't think there's any avoiding that. I knew it for oh that noise scared me. I forgot about that noise. I got her killed one time and I happened to have a soul stone and I used it on her. That's when I knew for sure. There was no happy ending for this child. That's a gross sound. I'm fighting like this is the uh... fighting like this is the second game. Fighting is so much easier in the second game. I'm aiming for ending E though, I think. E, escape, yeah. Ending E. There's a blue. Oh. I would love to find a scroll right now. I'm not above using scrolls, I'll just let you know right away. Uh, no diagonal. Can't get the boxes. Second game has spoiled me, I'll tell you. Oh, I'm not doing too hot at all. Let me go turn off my light actually. Let's make this all atmospheric. Spooky. We're in the dark now. I don't want to be that guy, but I really do think there's like, there's a, there's a brutality that's just missing from the second game that the first game has. The first game was re trying really hard to be unfair. I think that's really interesting in its own way. It's not for everybody, but nothing really is. I don't think he just goes right back there, doesn't he? Okay. Nope, I'm terrible at juking. I'm just trying to lap around him really quick. There's a lot less moments. Okay, we're just gonna fight the ghoul. We're, gonna... we're not gonna fight the ghoul. And going. We're one step closer to a pine cone pig. Big game changer. Gonna be a little embarrassing if I can't make the leg guard. 
I remember this being so easy. I wish I could go back and just replay this game, knowing none of it I knew. Knowing none of it the way I do now. That's useless to us. When I first started, it was like... Cause I, I, get, I like to get into games. I, I really let my suspension of disbelief go, I guess. No, that's not the word, but you know what I mean. I really get into it. Judging from the contents of this table, this room is the office of the captain of these dungeons. So... I don't know, I... A lot of people say the game's not scary. Maybe it isn't, but I just like to let myself get scared. I get into it. I turn the lights off. It's like late at night, that's like how I like to play horror games. The one thing when discussing the lore is that like with things like Dark Souls, there's a I don't think there's a very clear disconnect between gameplay and lore. But I think when it comes to fear and hunger, there is there has to be a clear disconnect between the gameplay and the lore. Because for example, if I'm here playing as Kahara and I meet Enki or even Ragnavalder or Dars. Without my intervention, they're essentially useless. They get nothing done. Let me, is there a thing I can light here? So playing as Kahara now, none of the other playable characters will essentially get anything done in regards to their own goals. Enki, I don't know how far Enki can make it on his own. Dars dies to the cave dwellers. And I think Ragnavalder just stays in the thicket after a while. And that, that can't be possible because as we found out in Termina, there is some canonicity to the endings. And Termina can't happen without multiple of those endings being canon. For example, ending A, the God of Fear and Hunger, taking the girl all the way down to the... What was it? Down the... I want to say it's called the Gauntlet. That has to be canon. Somebody has to do that. And I think it's kind of a cop-out to say that some unnamed character did it. No, I'm super good, dude.
<laughs> we also know that Enki lives. So Enki can't be the one to take her down to the depths. I can't show that on Twitch. <laughs> Never mind. If I ever need to heal there, I'll just do it off screen. Yes. It's such a simple scene, but it really makes me care for the girl. I don't know, I'm just kind of a sucker for that sort of thing. It is the same with Clementine. It's one of those things where it's clear that the creator intends you to care. And I think it's kind of... You kind of detract from the experience by not letting yourself do that. Do I have rotten meat? I don't. I don't want to fight the dogs. No, they won't, they use sticks in this game. I have sticks. Kind of how the pattern went. Okay. Anthill's over here, isn't it? I never used the anthill. Maybe it's a, uh, a thing to do with the roach skill. Control over mastery over Rubberman. It's been a long while since I played this game. Do I have food crafting? Do I do this though? I don't think the thicket is ever really explained either. I'm sorry, I'm really all over the place right now. I didn't plan this out very well. I'm rushing the thicket right now because we get Ragnavaldor and because 
I don't know how well known this is, but there's actually unlimited lucky coins in the thicket. And we are going to exploit that. I need all the help I can get. Might as well use the coins. I don't know what that does. It doesn't seem like it affects the monsters. No, we want to fall. I don't remember the exact path over there. We can definitely do with black seal. Can I heal beforehand? I don't want to do a whole lot of talking right now just because we haven't saved it all. I should have rushed the crow bed. I have a red bile. I do. It can probably kill crow mauler. This is a lot harder than I remember. I took a big break from this game and decided to just wait for Terminator to come out before I started playing again. I forgot how hard this game was. You get hungry a lot more often. I did skip a lot of things though. Skip a lot of boxes I could have gotten. Might as well. We completely missed Ragnavolder. Oh. We missed my guard too.
Sneaky. Uh. Leave. I don't think we're ready for any of this. He lives, the man lives. I don't think we can get ending E now. I don't think he lets us get out. Um I forgot what he looks like when he dies. I don't know if he I remember him being chained up. I'm trying to think because I don't believe that everybody gets to the dungeon at the same time. Personally, I believe that Ragnavalder gets there first. He goes in, he finds Moonless, and he kills Lagard. I think Enki does get his S ending. I think Dars gets her S ending. And I think Ahar is the one to take the little girl to the bottom of the out of the depths because we know that it's not possible for it's impossible for some endings to not be canon some of these things do have to happen in game to justify termina Alright, we're gonna try to escape the dungeon if he lets us leave. I don't think he will. I don't think we'll leave this room, quite honestly. I don't know if we can fight. He'll guard. This is gonna be a bad time. Hmm, nice. Easy money. Does he let us leave? <laughs> nice. And we get save book. The sword lets me fight the ghost, right? Yes. I've always had Kahara do ending A because it felt more dramatic to me. Same, same. I I started out as Kahara to begin with myself. I'm just trying to think because when it comes to Dark Souls lore, most people do believe that the gameplay and the like item descriptions kind of tie in together. There's no separation. But when it comes to the game, if you, for example, I'm playing as Kahara, but if you play as Kahara, People like Dars, Darcy, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, Ragnavalder and Enki, they don't really accomplish anything themselves without your intervention. And I just don't think that can be canonical. And I also think it's kind of a cop-out to say that maybe some unnamed character takes the girl and does ending A with her. Pure fight Eastern Sword better? I don't think it is because it doesn't let you fight ghosts. I forgot how hard this game was compared to Termina. Um... We can't do either of those. Oh.
We're not doing very good on supplies. I skipped too many things on the way here. Oh. This is just a bad time. Okay. He's not gonna make this easy. Can I kill him? I have red vial. I'll save. I also don't think Legard gets the throne alive. I think Dars has to revive him. Simply because at the end of his ending at the throne, it says that his rule as a new god sees a thousand years of peace. And clearly that's not the case. I think he can still ascend to godhood after Dars revives him. I haven't seen the ending myself because I didn't want to spoil it for myself, but... We'll, we'll get to it, we'll get to it, we'll get to all of it. I'm struggling a lot right now, so we might not actually get to it, but... Ending D, a new god, yeah. Ending C, Dars. Ending B, Ragnarok. Which one is B? The older one. Ending C, Dars. C, the Yellow King. I like fall asleep. <laughs> I'm trying to think because I haven't gotten very far in Termina. I'm not sure how much I'll get into it because I know it's not completely finished yet. Because... The first game got like a year or two of updates. It added new endings, new areas, everything. So I'm not sure how far I'll get into Termina. But from what I've heard people say, August either directly or indirectly mentions Ragnavalder and Moonless. Which makes me think that at least Ragnavalder interacted with Moonless, or at least like took her out of the dungeons. That was a lot easier than I remember. Get Miasma now. We don't have a soul, so we can't get his thing. Thank you, Squirrel. I'm not sure how true that is, what I just said, but... That's what makes me think that Ragnavalder just kind of leaves the dungeon after killing Legard. We shall see, though. We shall see, though. I don't have Quill. It's so long since I played this game. That was day two. No, yeah, same, man, same. I just can't, I can't. The only time I got to day three, I think, was when I wanted to see what happens if I kill somebody off bat at the train with everybody around. And they tie you up. And they just leave you there for like two days. And I think you only get out day three at night time. So that's the only time I made it past day two. But not really. Who's in here? Regular guard. Yeah, we'll take him. A lot of the things I'm saying when I say I heard this or that. Is mostly just things I've heard in discussion forums. But nothing I can confirm for myself just yet. Ugh, who loses a limb? I do. Surprisingly, you can't shoot anybody to start. You have to start the battle like yourself. You can't just like equip a gun and shift click. Oh, he's gonna kill one of us. And it's the most important person. Nice. Let me see what I was doing in my... I think one of these. I couldn't get all the way to the depth. I know that. 
I was really struggling. Just loading up an old save. I think I was trying to make it to the depths. Just wanted to see, just wanted to see. Yeah. I got worried about that too. <laughs> A lot of things in the first game that I just have to watch out for. Oh, nice. Don't have to mess around with him this time around. I almost showed the bunny. The bunny area on accident earlier. Caught myself before though. I think before Termina though, a lot of the lore was. <laughs> I don't know if Twitch will see it that, that way. I know people do stream this game, I don't know how much of it they censor themselves. You also never miss in Termina. I've like, I think the only time I've ever missed a physical attack in Termina, I was using the Sorgle Spear. You miss a lot more often in this game. You get hungrier a lot quicker from what I can tell. I think it was confirmed to be not a bug, but a lot of enemies just tackle you on their way out like that. That also makes the game way harder than it needs to be. I kind of enjoy the unfairness though. Not for everybody, but I think it really adds to the atmosphere. Something that's not really present in the second game. The Harvester. Oh, I haven't gotten that myself. I've heard of it though. <laughs> Not a pretty sight. Death is all- not death. Bleeding is such a non-issue in the first game. You get so many cloth fragments, bleeding is non-existent in the first game. You struggle with it a lot more in the second. I'll pick up the doll. While I'm here, if I can remember where it's at. One of these confused them. Oh, not that one. I might just run away. You don't have to do this. The thing with Termina 2 is that by its simple existence, we get a lot more canonicity. Since we know that Lagard becomes the Yellow King, we know he doesn't die, and we do know he ascends to Godhood. I don't think it's explicitly shown that he ascends in Darcy's Ascending, but I think it's a safe assumption. So I think either, what was it? D or Darce's personal ending can be considered canon. Talked about how I think my asthma does get 
is Legard's sword. It's basically his sword. Everything points to Miasma being Legard's sword. That's like his thing. He's the only person who can wield it without it like without him going insane and murdering the rest of your party. And if we assume that Moonless and Ragnarvalder were buddies and that they escaped the dungeon together and Moonless just became... I don't have food. I have mushrooms. I'm sorry, Kahara. And Moonless just kind of like grew up and became huge. Maybe at some point Moonless fought Legard and that's why he has Miasma stuck into her. Or her. I think Moonless is a her. I'm just spitballing ideas though. I haven't really thought through a lot of this. I'm just going through right now, getting the footage. It's gonna be something I'm gonna be looking over. Uh, I intend to do a full write up of the lore, but I would just rather have my own footage for that. Just confirm everything with my own eyes. Actually, super close to the exit now that I realize it. If only he will let me go. <laughs> We're just getting footage here, man. We're just getting footage here. We'll get the rest of the endings. I've only ever played on the easiest mode, I will admit. I tried terror and starvation mode. The torch system was really messing me up. But I really enjoy this game, so I'm not gonna, I don't really mind going through the motions of all these different run throughs. Does Legard let me leave? He does. I haven't played it myself very much, so I wouldn't be, I wouldn't know anything about the bugs. It has unique scenarios, right? There's things in Terran Starvation mode that don't happen in easy mode. Alrighty, the easiest ending and I struggled with it so much. Um, so I think this, this just means he has trauma, right? Like, that's a general consensus. Ending E is just the like lingering trauma of them escaping. I'm looking through what little notes I have.
I don't think that any of the characters go through ending D, I think it was, where they ascend to new gods themselves. Simply because we don't see them in the Hall of the New Gods in the second game. And we know, we know a lot more of the cycles have happened since the first game. Or actually, I think, I don't think there has been a new cycle since Lagard. It's one of the two. I swear I had this all much better planned out in my head before I started streaming. Yeah, so it's, it was two years, I believe, of updates. Either two years of updates or two years it took him to make the base game. Already. What's the next easiest ending? I think it would just be... There's nothing I can really do as quickly as that, I don't think. I think I'm just gonna have to go all the way to the throne. I don't think there's an easy way to get rid of Lagard. I might just get to the throne and kill the four gods without him. And then when I want to do his ending, I'll go back and pick him up. So if I want to get rid of somebody in my party, I can just do a marriage or sacrifice them. How do you pronounce Mahabre? Because I know it's, it's based off the word macabre. But Mahab just kind of seems like a dumb name, in my opinion. <laughs> in my head, I usually say Mahabre, or Mahabre. There's like two different spellings. Yeah, yeah, you you got you got a good point right there. Have have you finished Termina? Because I will tell you, I have been spoiled, so I know a few things, and I don't want to be out here spoiling you if you haven't. Nope, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I won't speak on it. And I don't know all too much myself, to be honest with you. I haven't played through it. I've gotten some Spark Notes versions of it. But I think you might be onto something. I used to know the way around this game so well. I'm trying to think of the way to get to Dars. Because Ragnarvald is right here. I, I might not have an explosive vial, actually. No, I'm super good. I forgot the girl. <laughs> I just like having the girl in my party, honestly. Kind of adds stakes to the game, 
gives me something to fight for. Do I have an explosive vial? I do. No, I still have a stick. I just picked one up. I do. One thing that's really confusing about the lore is the timeline. The furthest I got in two was the morning of day two. I waited three hours between each save, so I did a lot on the first day. How much did I do the first day? I think I got into I got into the city morning day one. Started out playing as Karen, and then I decided to do a genocide run, playing as Osa. I think he has some of the best combat skills off bat, even without magic. I used Osa completely physically. Is the chest here? Yes. this I made it all the way to the moon tower and then I try to go in and then after that I took a big break I'm just not having a good time with this guy. I think I spend most of I think I spend day day one afternoon and night. No, just day one afternoon. I spent it trying to find a way into the church without cutting down the the chandelier. Kind of weird how chill Ragnavaldor is about killing Legard. I think in his intro he specifically says he's going to the dungeon to kill him. He just kind of plays it off very nonchalantly in front of you.
that that's the reason I think Ragnarvaldr comes to the dungeon first, like chronologically. I think he gets there. He gets the lay guard and he kills him there. I'm not sure how true that would be because I, I th I've heard he breaks his neck. He doesn't like slit his throat. If I remember, if you don't get the lay guard quick enough, he's like covered in blood. I do think Ragnarvaldr kills him though. If you don't make it there quick enough. Is this it? It's not it. There's an unlimited lucky coin somewhere in the thicket. I forgot where it was. You can just keep collecting it off the ground. Alrighty. Yeah. <laughs> That's not happening anymore, is it? I'm gonna go pick up stars. I wasn't sure how well known it was because I'd never heard anybody else talk about it. I don't want to fight this guy right now. I don't think it's been 30 minutes. I'll go ahead and save. One time I sat there and maxed out my stacks. I got 99 lucky coins. I mostly just used it for chests, if I'm honest. Don't need that yet. And hopefully he doesn't die if we just leave him here. This is where Bluesin is at, I think. I don't think we can go up from here. Cool, cool, cool. Just have to make sure. It'll make it way easier to like come back and loop around for different endings. So I can just leave them there. I don't think I can go up from here. There's no rope. Yep. I don't 
remember how to get back up to the cave dweller village. I think I have to loop all the way around. You're about to notice that I am very directionally challenged. I cannot find my way back the way I came. Okay. We're ugly now. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I think we can take him. Don't think it'd be a struggle relearning the game. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Gonna have to go pick the play guard again. I swear I've had him come into the room before. I've had the elite guard follow me in. I'm not going down there. I didn't know you could get cursed items out of the boxes.
Wait. I'm a fool. This guy will not let up. At the same time? I think we can take him. How do I get an infection from a ghost? How does that happen? I might just have to marry, or else is uh, this is uh. Might be a rip run if I don't marry. Do I have brought meat? I don't. I can't recruit moons. Pocket Cat looks so weird in this game. He's got like a wooden face. Then again, in the second game, they say his face looks like a rubber mask. Then he's got like a wooden head in this game. He's got a wooden face, but he's got like the same skin tone that other characters have. Oh, this is the way to Moonless. Yeah. It is certainly a buggy game. I don't want to kill Moonless.
I never found myself having like issues with starving until now. Oh, we have to marry because I show this on stream. Never got banned for it. I'll take your word for it. Let's not let that happen again. Oh. I've heard that there's a bug where Enki can't do marriages. I don't know if that meant the player character or if Enki's in the party. But I also know they won't do it if you haven't had them in the party long enough. You have to have them around for a certain amount of time. Because any of them will, can reject you. Right off the bat, we already lost one of our looms. Hmm. How much gold do I have? 18. I'll just go ahead and save Dars. If you walk away, I think as long as you stay within the area, she'll be fine. I think if you, like, leave the room and come back, she's just going to be dead. Because I've, I've walked around the village area, but if, for example, if you're going to this building and come back out, she'd be dead. <laughs> that is really the best result you can get when you walk into this dungeon. Dars Catalyst. 
I didn't know she had a last name. <laughs> it's the best thing she's got. Sucks that we lost a leg. But I'd rather just lost the arm. I would love to find a scroll. Scroll and a quill. I'm not above such things. I'm not good enough to be above such things right now. I would definitely love to pick up White Angel Soul early. Cool, cool, cool. We're cool.
you know, if I could find my way back, that would be just so lovely. Did I get Ragnarvolder skills? I did not. I don't remember it all the way around here. Trying to, uh, trying to make my way back to Enki. I had to go to the to the wolf pit. Why did he have to take my leg? Should have been my arm instead. I don't even remember where the rope was. Oh. I've never had this happen before. Can't say I am. Um, I used to be two people and now I'm one. It's kind of uncomfortable. It is a mask then, okay. He's British in this game as well. Jesus Christ. Pocket cat just trauma dump on me. I can go get moonless now though. Only I could find this rope. Oh. I just can't run from it, can I?
Oh, I got a thing. There's no way to check status. Homer of Abyssonia. I've never gotten severe mental trauma. Doesn't tell me what this thing is though. trade off the sorcerer stone whenever we need to it's gonna be a bad time as soon as I step out this door though It's safe because I think I have to fight all three of the cave dwellers. Oh. I gotta have a escape plan. No scrolls, I don't think. been looting these guys they probably don't have anything either okay that room is probably the only room I'm not gonna say the only room that room is the one I remember making me very uncomfortable just reading the description of how they eat. 
that's the room that really, really unnerved me. I don't think the purified sword can hit ghosts. Nope. Did we get ruined? Dark spells. Oh, you can't be doing this to me. <laughs> no. How are we looking? Oh, not very good. What affect your stats? I don't think so. E. We get angry now though. Everything will be okay. You can still recruit Nasra, right? I might just go back for him too, because I'm kind of struggling. Uh, uh. He caught bars. Nice. I'm gonna equip it from him just to make sure I can still use it. loud I've never actually recruited him before hopefully I do not fumble because it's been a while since the last save
Nice. What does he have? And we can just go back the way we came now. We should be good to go. If I can just find some healing items. Uh. Nasra, Nasra. When we find him in the second game, he is a lot more decrepit than he is now. I think he is... I think they described him as burned, or at least under rubble. I don't know if that might imply... Which ending was it? Where you fight Grogoroth? B, I think. I'd have to refamiliarize myself with all this. It really has been too long. Actually. One cool thing I missed from the first game is as time goes on in real time, the dungeon changes as well. I know it's not really possible anymore with the new day cycle system, but the way the enemies evolve and the way the world changes, like the cave dweller village getting attacked by the moonless guard, or the guards getting like possessed by the flowers and everything, I just thought that was really neat. Also, it's not full random generated, but I also like the the different layouts that are possible. Every time you make a new save, I know that's also not really possible with the way he set up the city map and everything. There's a solid concrete map now. But it's just another one of those little things I miss. Forty for hurting. Oh, so I was gonna run. No, I can't run because I have to get down there. I just have him hold the sorcerer's stone. He did the same damage with greater hurting.
I am also infected again. Do I have bone saw? This might be a done deal, I'm infected. That was really cool. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just gonna I'm gonna see what these options are. I'm gonna die regardless. Re yeah, man. I like the way the the vial in the second game does it too. I wish more th more enemies did that. That's it. Uh, I know I've said it plenty of times, but I remember this game being way easier. How long have I been streaming? Nearly two hours. Alrighty. I think I'm gonna call it quits there because I got work at like 4 a.m. in the morning. So, yeah. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you making conversation. Um, I'm gonna be stream. I'm gonna try to stream every single day this month. That's just a little goal I've set up for myself. So, yeah, if you wanna stop by, I'm usually gonna be starting up around 8 p.m. Gonna be running through this game, getting every ending. I uh, appreciate you dropping by, man.